Welcome in this brief introduction on iOS peer-to-peer -peer communication with a new component added in the TMS ICL component pack. I'm Bruno Ferenc, working for TMS Software. iOS peer-to-peer -peer communication, what is it about? It is about exchanging data to nearby devices and when referring to data I'm referring to all kinds of things like text, images, files, objects, etc. Communication of this data can be done via Bluetooth or via wireless network. There is a built-in discovery of nearby devices. And um, it's not only possible to do peer-to-peer -peer communication, it's also possible to do peer-to-multi-peer -peer communication. In iOS, it's possible to do communication with up to eight devices. So, um, we have built a non-visual component that allows you to um, add this functionality to your iOS applications in um, a very short amount of time with um, easy to use functions. So this component is called TMS FMX Native Multi-Peer Connectivity and to get started drop this component on the form. You, uh, it's recommended to create a unique ID for this um, component uh, because this ID will determine with what other uh, applications you will be able to perform multi-peer communication and this is done with the peer ID property of our component. Next step is to search for peers. Peer discovery um, is this also referred to and um, you can search for peers and then uh, connect with the peer of choice. When a connection is established, you receive an event on this change state. And um, from there, you can get information about what peers are connected. Each peer you are connected with is identified with an object. And, and this object is of the type MC peer ID. And all connected peers can be accessed via an array, the peers array. Finally, when you have established a connection, um, it's a matter of sending and receiving data. And we have provided in our component several functions to send several data types. So, as such, we have methods send string, send boolean, send integer, send object, etc. The uh, opposite is also uh, the case for receiving data where we have added several events depending on the data type that is being received. So as such we have on did receive string, on did receive boolean, on did receive object, etc. So um, here's a short code snippet that shows you how you can send some text to a connected peer. Uh, first example, the send string uh, call is uh, sending a string to a uh, connected peer of choice and as you can see the second parameter of this call identifies the peer to who you send this string or you can send the string to all connected peers with one single call send string to all peers receiving strings is uh, as easy as handling an event uh, the event on did receive string and uh, the parameter a value um, identifies this string and a peer. Uh, this is um, the peer from who you are receiving the string. Sending an, an object uh, in this example, which is also included in TMS ICL as a full demo application that you can uh, build and run. In this demo, we have uh, created a little object that um, encapsulates some information about a person uh, the name, email, company, and phone. And uh, so we demonstrate with this how we can send this object to a peer. So we create um, a memory stream. We stream this object on the memory stream. And then uh, with the send object to all peers, we send this object via the memory stream to all connected peers. Receiving an object is uh, similar. There is an event on did receive object and this event passes the memory stream and then you can simply read uh, the component in this case from this memory stream and uh, as you can see uh, you receive the 
com the team my info uh, object this way that holds the information of the person so time to see this in action in this uh, demo so to demonstrate this peer-to-peer -peer connectivity we have two devices an ipod on the left side and an ipad on the right side we have explicitly disabled Wi-Fi for this demonstration, so Wi-Fi is um, disabled on both devices, but we have enabled Bluetooth instead. We have the same application running on the iPod and the iPad, and uh, you can see below in the tab uh, My Card that contains the information of the holder of the device. And uh, as you can see, the bigger device has um, the names Bill Gates uh, from Microsoft and the iPod device has the information Bruno Ferenc. On the Friends tab of this application is for now um, empty and it is the purpose of this peer-to-peer -peer application to transfer data from the um, one device to the other device. And a third tab is for the chat functionality that we will explain later. So, uh, first step in this peer-to-peer -peer communication is discovery of peers. And when we press the send button, the discovery pane appears from where we can select the other device. After selecting it, connection is being started. The device gets a uh, request for connection. And when it's accepted, the uh, connection is established. And then immediately the um, card information is sent from uh, one device to the other device. So if we switch now to the friends card information, we see that the information um, appeared uh, on the other device, was transferred actually from one device to the other device. And of course, with the same connection, we can also send the card information from uh, the left device to the right device and so if you look at the friends card information you can see uh, where it was previously empty it now contains uh, the information from bruno ferenc and this information was sent as an object with this peer-to-peer -peer communication component let's move now to the chat tab and in the chat tab, we simply use the send string call from the peer-to-peer -peer communication components. And uh, this string is sent to the uh, other device. Uh, you can see it appear as red text on the left device. And when we send text from uh, the iPod to the iPad, it will appear on the iPad also as red text. So red text is the received text, green text is the text that uh, was sent.